Hello everyone, my name is Gas, and welcome to the first Hacking Workshop video version. Alright, so today we're going to be looking at a couple programs that are very well known and super essential to Fire Emblem hacking. First being Nightmare and the second one being uh, Fedditor. So, first thing uh, I want to get out the way here is that when I'm going to be showing you guys what these what these uh, what these programs do I'm not gonna actually explain kind of like you know the in-depth numbery details because honestly um, if you're just starting and you just kinda wanna feel like you know dip your toes in like the whole kind of uh, uh, you know hacking thing you don't really need to know all the crazy stuff you know I'm just gonna show you stuff right off the bat after you after you just put in some stuff and you open you, you load up the ROM you see the changes and you feel good because you essentially are uh, modifying things, but not really getting too in depth into the thing itself. That's kind of what I want to do with these workshops. I, I want to show you guys uh, these great programs that these amazing hackers have made that have made uh, you know the idea of 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 ROM hacking Fire Emblem uh, a reality for a lot of people. And you know it's a really fun hobby to get into. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to patch a clean ROM. A patch is basically software that, uh, that when applied onto a specific um, program or you know in this case a ROM, it will it, it's usually to like fix a bug or like like a bug patch like it fixes a bug or it adds features or gets rid of features. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the tutorial mode. So first things first. Um, I'm not going to start the ROM because everyone knows tutorial mode is whatever, but just know that this is a clean ROM and a tutorial mode is on it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up NUPS Patcher. Now NUPS Patcher is very useful. Um, this is basically, uh, it, creates, it creates patches that you can send online because ROMs are illegal and don't send those. Um, and uh, yeah. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply the UPS patch to a file. Now the file to patch is naturally going to be our clean FE7 ROM, so let's just get that out. And we're, I already have it ready to go. So workshop ROM is what I called it. And the UPS patch, now you can find this patch um, in, the, in the description. This is a patch that was like really quickly made by my friend Skull. Uh, and basically it just gets rid of the, the tutorial mode so so that's that that's the patch this is the ROM and all we do we can hit ignore if we want um, not quite sure what these do I'm just I just hit ignore because it whatever and so then you patch click patch and presto patching has been done so very simple process very easy to do it's funny that a lot of people don't actually know how to patch and they're always like oh my god how do I patch this how do I play this ROM and I'm like well it's really easy to do so just so that's a NUPS patcher. So now let's see, let's see uh, if it works. So we open up our Visual Boy Advance here. We will go to, uh, we will open our ROM that we just had. Uh, that is not it. That's one of my Let's Play things. Let's go to tutorial stuff, and we have Workshop ROM. All right. So we open this up. We have this. Blah blah blah. Enter information. No. All right. So <clears throat> are you awake? A lot over here. So now, as you can see, the tutorial mode is disabled. So the patch worked. Great. Now we're at liberty to uh, edit some things. So what I'm going to do today is I'm first going to talk about Nightmare. Now what is Nightmare? Basically, in the most basic terms you can explain it, Nightmare is a very user-friendly hex editor. It edits data tables within the ROM uh, that you can find in a hex editor. Um, but basically it just kind of has everything located for you and you just input some stuff and it does its magic That's the most basic way I can explain it So what we're going to do today is we're going to go have some fun with some stats And we're going to have some fun with some uh, Changing some text here uh, via Feditor So let's get started What do we want to do first? Well let's actually minimize this and let's go open Nightmare Now I have I originally was planning to make this tutorial with Nightmare 2, but Nightmare has this really neat feature, uh, well the original Nightmare does, has this really neat feature that's link ROM to modules. So basically, I'll show you what that means. So first of all, let's open our ROM, let's find our ROM here, 
Now we have it right about here. Okay, so workshop room. Well, we open this up. All right. So now nothing's showing up. No problem. We want to load our modules next. So if you have downloaded the um, the nightmare modules for the GBA, that's great. So we're gonna try to find that now. So we're gonna go to we're gonna go. I I have all my stuff saved. All of my hacking programs are all in one big folder just for organi or being organized. And now, before we get into this, I should just mention that being organized uh, for this kind of stuff is super important because it's very easy to kind of lose track of all your stuff and it's very easy to get really cluttered and everything. So you just want to make sure everything is organized in a way that you can find it easily. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, well yeah, as you can see I have some tiled stuff. I have uh, some other some other folders here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my GBA nightmare modules that I've downloaded. I get my nightmare modules, open them up. So what are we going to do first? Well, well, let's just see this. Well, what's going on here? Well, we have so many of these editors here. Um, so they they're really self-explanatory. Uh, you can kind of fool around with these and see if if you want to kind of like explore and all that. Some of them might seem pretty confusing to you, but what we're going to do today is we're only going to focus on this, the class and character editors. Now, as you can see, you can there's just these two. So let's just see. Uh, let's just talk about the character editor first. Okay, so we open up the character editor, and this comes up. All right. Well, there's no one here because there's no player selected. So let's just go to Lin Tutorial. Okay. So what what's what's showing up here? Okay, well we have these. So like what are these? These are called pointers and this basically points to information within the ROM that uh, that you can change. So let's let's see what else we got. We have these base stats. Now as you notice, um, these base stats are all zero. So why is that? Why is Lin why does Lin have no base stats? Well, I can only assume that all of her base stats are actually, let's try to load up another module here in the class editor. I can only assume that her base stats have to do with these. So that if so let's just boot up this again. So as you can see, we have four strength, um, four strength, we have 16 HP here. So so all of these stats are over here. Now other characters, other characters like Guy, for example, he has base stats as well. So, like I said, I can only assume that the reason why she has zero character zero character bases is because well, she's the only lord in the game. So it'd be kind of redundant to have her to have her bases and her growth. Now, <clears throat> so the way the way Nightmare has it is is it just has these bases at zero. So. Let's see what we can do. So usually for characters like Lin or stuff like that, I will just go to the character editor. So let's just go to the character editor, Lin tutorial. So let's just try to have fun with these bases now. Um, so let's see. We have Lin at four strength. So if her if her base strength is four in her class and her base strength is zero for her character, let's just fool fool around with this. Let's change her base strength to five. So what's that gonna mean? Well, that means that four and five is gonna give her nine strength. So that's pretty good. Let's try to do some other things. So she has, what, nine base speed as a class? So let's give her three base speed as a character. That'll give her um, 12 speed. So you can do this with a bunch of stuff. We can just fool around with this. Her defense is two. We can change this to, 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 to eight. So she'll have 10. So she's gonna be pretty tough, okay. So that's pretty cool. What else do we got here? Well, we have uh, we have sword level. As you can see, your sword level is D, so we can change that too if we wanted. And we we have our growths here. And as you can see, she has pretty bad defense growths. And we have this palette unpromoted. So basically, this is where um, where the, these pointers basically store the information uh, to to locate palettes for characters. So basically, what that means is if we can change these pointers, then basically we can tell, uh, we can get Nightmare to tell the game, hey, when you're loading the palette for Lin, use Rebecca's palette instead. Okay, so that's pretty weird. What does that even mean? So if we load Rebecca's, pa if we load this, um, well actually, let's just try to, oh, by the way, you have character, 
character abilities here. So you can just you can just kind of fool around with this um, and kind of explore for yourself. It's pretty fun. So let's just see what we did today. So what what, what we, let's just see what we did. So let's do this as well. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We have a portrait here. I don't even want to see Lynn right now, actually. I don't want to see Lynn either. So if we go to portrait and we change, um, we change this here. Let's say I want to see, um, I want to see Sane. I, I don't know why, but I want to see Sane in Lynn's portrait. Okay, so let's just do that. Actually, let's not let's not do Sane. Let's just do something, you know, uh, pretty silly. Let's uh, let's just do. Uh, fourth wall breaking Lin. So where is that? Uh, looking at you. So fourth wall breaking Lin. Okay, so what did we change right now? Well, we've changed uh, what her portrait will show uh, in this screen. Now it won't change in the uh, it won't change in the um, in text and cutscenes and stuff. It'll only just be for this and and trade and trading menus and stuff. So we have that change. What else do we change? Let's also change the affinity to uh, light. So she'll have a light affinity as well. Now we have we've changed her bases, her uh, her weapon level is more or less the same, or well, is the same actually, and her growths are the same. But we also changed her 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 unpromoted battle pilot. Okay, and let's um let's actually uh, put the mounted aid system on just for just for kicks. So how do we so how are we gonna save this? Well, basically what we can do is what well basically what we do is we hit enter first. And once you have have entered, this asterisk will show up right here. And then you hit Control S, you know, Control S or Save. So then you save, and then we can see what happened. Now, um, let's just restart this, or let's just load the ROM again. Now, be aware that you have to load the ROM every time. So it's so for VBA, if you, the most recent ROM you've loaded, you know it's Control F1. So we'll try this again, and let's see if it works. So just bear in mind, every time you make nightmare changes with a character that's already loaded in the game, you're gonna have to restart the chapter. Okay, so let's just restart our chapter. Okay, so we do this, and as you can see, well, look at that. Okay, so things have changed. All right, so after we restart the ROM, the changes that were applied here finally got changed. So let's see what we did. Well, we we uh we got fourth wall breaking Lin, the Lin looking at me. She's staring at me right there. What else did we change? Uh, her light affinity is now light, and her base stats that we that we gave her to character Lin have been applied. So her base strength used to be four, and now it's nine because we added five. So. So things like that we've changed, that's pretty great. So that stuff was changed, so let's go see uh, if that battle palette was changed as well. So let's just go here. We'll have the Baron, we'll have the brigand come, and this is gonna be pretty neat. So as you can see, her palette is now Rebecca's palette. Now it looks really nice, I think it's very cool how she looks kinda like a little carrot girl. That's pretty neat. Just bear in mind that not all of the character palettes will look that great. I'm sure it's just because um, Rebecca, Rebecca's archer sprite color, like color alignment, is more or less the same with Lynn's lord. So if we uh, if we change this as well, let's just have some more fun with this. Let's uh, let's see what she would look like if she had. Um, let's just do something silly. Let's just see if she had. Um, uh, Isadora. So that maybe I have no idea what this is gonna look like. Probably not that great. So let's just do this again. So we'll hit Enter again. We'll hit Control Save, and then we'll just hit F1. Control F1 again, and we'll restart. And so let's just see what it looks like. Maybe this will look good. Maybe it won't. And as you can see, it looks kind of strange. I mean, she has a nice little yellow highlight of her hair. And everything else seems to kind of work actually. So as you can see, not all the colors are al are aligned perfectly. Um, usually, uh, you know, it's kind of hit and miss. You can kind of assume things. Some things will work, some things won't. Like the fighter and the brigand, I'm, I assume will probably look decent enough. So that's that. So that's basically what we're doing in Nightmare. Is that we're changing that around. Now let's try to look at the class editor. Okay, so what's the class editor? Well, we'll go back to Lin Lord again, and we'll see that we have. Um, what this class promotes to, so Blade Lord, okay, and her walking speed, so just some pretty simple stuff now, and like I said, her base skills are here, so if we change these, then it would be changed as well here, so same thing. Um, what else do we have? Her, so the class, class growths here, <coughs> here, and we have uh, these, the class ability, so this is pretty pretty neat, so 
If you click these class abilities, you can see that there's different abilities for each class. Now, as you can see, uh, let's do something a little more. Um, no, oh yeah. Well, as you can see, you can like the Lin Lord class has the Wow, the Wo Dao weapon unlock and the Mana Caddy and Soul Caddy naturally. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. And if you go to other classes, say we went to the Myrmidon, then we go down here. And as you can see, the yes, the Myrmidon has the Wo Dao weapon weapon lock as well. Let's go see what. Um, let's go see what the Cavalier has. The Cavalier class abilities are mounted aid. Or, so mounted icon next aid. So as you can see, if you look at the stat screen for the Cavalier, it will have that icon and a Primrose Paladin and all that great stuff. So let's see what we can. Let's see if we can change anything here. Um, we're, we're back here. Let's see what we what we can change here. Uh, well, we can. Um, yeah. So let's let's do some silly stuff. So. Say her her standing map sprite, we can change this to uh, we'll change it to um, what else? What can we change it to? Oh, by the way, a neat thing is if you hit page up and page down, you can quickly uh, navigate through this list here. Um, let's change her let's change her standing to um, uh, um, magic seal, whatever. We'll change it to magic seal, okay? And with her walking speed, we can change it to slow, so she'll be walking quite slowly. Um, yeah, and let's change. Yeah, let's also change her base HP as a class to, I don't know, something silly like 60 or something, just for kicks. So we'll hit enter again and we'll hit save, and then we'll go back here. I'll re upload our ROM, and let's restart this chapter again. So what did we change? Well, now her HP is at 60, um, and as you can see, her standing map sprite is now uh, Kishuna or the Magic Seal. That's pretty interesting. Now, as you notice, once you highlight back onto her, you'll notice that she'll go back to her Lin. Now that's because this is just the map, the standing map sprite. If you wanted to change the, um, if you wanted to change the the, the 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 action the more action oriented movements I forget what they're called it's kind of silly um, then you go to another editor you go to um, well you just go to the editor that would be under map map editing I don't know but yeah that's yeah so let's just so we've done that that's pretty interesting did we change anything else I don't remember so yeah that's oh yeah her walking speed is very slow now okay so basically that's what we did um, so what did we learn today? Well, basically, uh, with this character and class editor is that they were they are very user friendly uh, hex editors that change a bunch of easy stuff in the game. Now you can just change a bunch of things. That's uh, that's you know if you wanted to start creating your own characters and whatnot, then these were, these two would kind of be the first editors you would the first ed nightmare editors or not sorry nightmare modules that you would uh, use now. Let's um, try now. Let's try to change these. Lynn and a young girl from the Lorca tribe, stout-hearted and kind, and Lord, a noble attached to a ruling house, has great potential. So what's let's how do we, how are we going to change these? Well, it's actually very simple. It's it has to do with this. It has to do with this class name and this pointer, and this class description and this pointer. And as you can see, her character editor also has something similar. It has the character name and that pointer, and the character description and that pointer. So what are we going to do with these pointers now? Well, first what we're going to do is we're going to remember these actual pointers. So I'm going to close this for a second. Now this is a very useful um, tool that everybody I've spoken to within the community has, and everyone who, sp who does sprite work has it. Everyone, it's just a super useful thing. It's called Gyazo. Now, what Gyazo is is basically a, it's basically just a really simple program that will, um, basically have a screenshot of the area you selected. So let's do this. We'll hit this. And this will open up, and there you go. So you have, uh. We have this screenshot for easy reference. Now let's do that again for uh, the class editor. So we'll do the same thing. We'll open up Gyazo here. Oh, excuse me. We have to get Lin first. So we hit up Gyazo and then we look at this. 
and then that will go. Now, bear in mind that sometimes, um, well, my computer is really old, so sometimes if you notice when I'm doing this, it's kind of like flickering gray and gray and like transparent. That's just because my computer is old, and sometimes like um, if I have if I'm using seven basic as opposed to like the normal seven then it will do that and it will just keep screenshotting like gray blank squares. So you just gotta keep trying until you get it. It's kinda silly and kind of annoying, but whatever it is what it is. So let's close this and now let's open our next program which is Fire Emblem Editor Advanced. So I have Fedditor here, you can download it. Um, I'm sure you've already downloaded it if you're interested. If you're watching this video, I can only assume you have the necessary tools, but you just need guidance on what to do with them. So we open up Fedditor Advance here and we have, we're presented with, I have low disk base for the 50th time. So we're presented with, wait for it, I'm actually going to close this too as we wait. Okay, so we have Fedditor Advance here. Now it's just going to prompt you instantly to opening up your ROM, so let's just get that. We have our workshop ROM here and we'll open that. And we have this. So I wouldn't worry about this right now. Let's just go jump right into what these are. These are our editors for the Fedditor. So we have class animation creator right here is where you load your animation scripts, your custom animation scripts that you're putting in. Um, this will tell you uh, whether you've made a mistake and it will locate the mistake. It will locate the mistake and it's on you to um, find it and correct it. Now sometimes it's kind of a stubborn program, but you know, don't click this either, insert the rubble spite. I don't know what that does. I've never used it. It's not what you think it is. I know it might be like insert a, th ins insert a sprite here that can stand in for a frame, but just don't do it because I don't, I don't quite know what it is. I mean, I animate a lot and I've never used it, so don't worry about that. Class Animation Manager is kind of neat. You can see all of the animations here by clicking this input index, and you can just see all the animations. It's kind of neat. Um, so that's that. This is where you would... Uh, the the stuff that you got from the creator, you put it here, and then it would it would insert the animation for sure, and then you have your animation ready to go. So let's go to Portrait Editor now. This is pretty interesting. If you go to Portrait Editor, you have all of these uh, all of the mugs in the game. So if you wanted to insert a character, you just insert it within this format within the color, color limitation. Now bear in mind if you're if you're already excited to you know insert character mugs, just bear in mind that this is the format you have. The you have this. There's, I'll actually get into the, I'll actually get into this in a later video. But if you want to get into this, then um, just bear in mind that there are limitations to it, and that's that. So we have a bunch of these. It's interesting. Spell animation inserter is basically what it is. Spell animating is very complex and very strange. I've never really got into it, but I've heard stories that it's just a very tedious process and it's very hard to deal with. So. Let's just get right into it. Let's just go to text editor. Now, what we're doing with this? Well, we have yes, and if we, if, well, how do we get started? Like, what is this? Well, basically, um, this will just edit text for you. Uh, yeah, so in layman's terms, this is basically in text. It's very self-explanatory. You find things in the index. You, these are these are pointers in the index, and they point to different, uh, different you know, text and stuff. So something interesting is the game actually starts at 8, uh, 8, 8, 13. So the game starts at 8, 13, which is pretty neat, and then you can kind of see where all these go. Now keep in mind, every time, if you try to change this one for some reason, uh, I think it has to do with events or something. Uh, if you change anything here, it kind of freezes the game, so don't edit 8, 13. Try to do something here. Okay, so... All right, so this is simple. So, but first of all, and the input index is where you put your pointer. Uh, what this is, so character. So Lynn is a character. Her her pointer is at four de. So you put that pointer here, four de, and we have Lynn. Okay, so let's just change this to uh, baby mama. Okay, so this is changed to baby mama. Okay, so we'll hit, we'll hit apply here, and then we'll go back here, and then we'll go to character description eight one b one. 1v1, and then we have a young girl from the Lorca tribe, stout hearted and kind. So uh, keep in mind that these are formatted in such a way that they kind of end in a very, they end in a place kind of similar to where everything else is. That's because um, there's a limit to how many characters you can have in the dis in the character description thing. If you go, if you go by it, if you go past it, it tends to screw up with the game. 
uh, some weird things will show up. So let's just change this. So a young girl from the Lorca tribe. So let's change this. A young girl from the Lorca tribe. Let's just change this to a young girl who likes cheese. And we can get rid of this one. Okay, so a young girl that likes cheese, we hit apply, so that'll be sun, that'll be done. So, and then we will go to, that's our character, so as a character, that'll be there, and then we'll go to the Lin Lord class itself. And what is the pointer there? That is 490. So we'll go to 490 here. Go to Lord. We'll change this to um, uh, tween. Let's just change this to tween. And then we'll hit apply here again, and then we'll go to the class description at 22C. A noble attached to a ruling house. Um, so what, what would be a description of a tween? Really annoying little girl. So really annoying little girl. So then we'll get rid of this part because we don't need it. Okay, so then we'll hit apply again. And then we're gonna hit control, or we're gonna hit save. So we're gonna hit save. After you hit save, it goes back to the first pointer in the input index. So let's just see if it worked. Now keep in mind, I closed Nightmare after opening Fedditor because um, you cannot have a ROM open in two programs at once uh, because it will it will undo the previous save. So it'll do undo the last save I've done in Nightmare. So that gets kind of annoying. So just bear in mind that you can't have two programs open at the same time. Um, I'm actually I actually should have mentioned that before so I'll have a little annotation that's saying close this because you don't you can't have both open at the same time so we will minimize this um, we will minimize this and then we'll go back to visual boy advanced so we're gonna open this again now bear in mind you don't need to restart this for text edits um, because text edits aren't exclusive to the character it's just a text edits so let's open up our ROM again All right, so blah, blah, blah. All right, so we have all of our changes here. Now let's see, what do we change? All right, so we changed this. All right, so look at this. So every our text edits have been changed. We have baby mama. Lynn is now baby mama, a young girl who likes cheese, and she's a tween, a really annoying little girl. So yeah, that's kind of funny. Um, basically, those are uh, two programs and two really basic functions of those two programs that uh, do various things with the ROM itself. Now, that's all we've, that's all we looked on in the tutorial, in, or in the workshop, I mean. And that's kind of what you can do to sort of dip your feet into it. Bear in mind that there, that the, that the, that the pointer 813 and 814, you know, the, uh, these, hold on, I'll just restart this. So bear in mind that these, this, so this is at 813 in the input index, and this, which is at 814 in the input index, I'm these. I think these have to do with uh, events because if you try to change either of these, then it will tend to freeze the game and it'll break the ROM. So just make sure you don't touch those two just for just to be safe. And then you can you can change around with these as well. So. All, all, all setting names. So you can change those. So just be be aware that those two first two I think are they're they're not. It's not just text. It's like cutscene stuff. So let's just avoid those two. Um, so yeah, those that's what we're, those were the two things that we covered. It was nightmare and then we was covered. It, it was nightmare and Fedator. So those two things we covered. Um, the, in the next, in the other hacking workshop, we started on doing very simple events, um, basically events that would change what goes on into a chapter, um, and that was, so we'll get into that next time in the next video, but that is what we did in the first hacking workshop. If you uh, enjoyed this tutorial, if you enjoyed, you know, my amazing voice, please, uh, you know, like this video. Um, tell me what you think and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of them. Yeah, this was this is Gast here. Happy hacking. Talk to you later.